All right, guys, so let's get on to uh, marketing with a few of these social media platforms that we mentioned in the last video. Um, I hate to be a real booger. Well, maybe not. <laughs> But um, I'm not a huge fan of Facebook, and the reason is is because of all the hype that's been surrounding it for so long with the internet marketers and all these gurus trying to tell you guys that you know you can make a million dollars on Facebook, blah blah blah. When it actually happens, like I said, to like point zero 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 one percent of the people, so basically almost not at all. It does happen, but it's so very rare. And the thing is, guys, is that um, you know you got to understand. When it comes to social media platforms, this is not, and I'll tell you this right now, you're going to learn the facts. Let's put up social media, social media, and we're going to put up search. Okay? The fact is, is that search is still where most people buy their products, services, join opportunities today. As a matter of fact, search will take up 71% of that pie. Yeah. The rest is left to places like social media, but not all social media. Some of its other different things out here from articles and videos and advertising on videos and such. So you're talking about a smaller percentage than just the 29% the that's left over. You know, it's probably like 9% or 10% maybe. I mean, tops. This is where people get the idea about what they are interested in. Then they go out and start searching that. Then they go out and they start purchasing, buying, joining opportunities or whatnot. So this is how we actually have to take advantage of social media, is to get an idea, uh, get a want or a need planted in their minds. That's what we're trying to do on social media, by sharing our content, creating quality content. Like I said before in all the other videos, content creation and everything else, we're always focused on creating quality content. That's how you build good links, that's how you build a good brand, that's how you build trust, and that's how you build your list and your money is in your list. We all know this now. So the thing is, is that this is where we're planting ideas and this is where we're going to sell it. Okay? Crazy connection. I know, but it's the truth. You know, there is so much hype today about social media marketing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write these words down so you understand. Social media marketing. Okay? That's a funny cat. <laughs> Social media marketing. When it comes down to all the stuff that you've probably seen online, there's one thing here, one thing here that always seems to be missing when it comes down to the actual information that they're giving you. And this is this. Social. As much as they try to focus in on it, they always miss it and they start heading over here. And the thing is, is that when we look at Facebook, it's, more, it's a social media site. It's social. This is where I, grandma shares her baking secrets with my wife. <laughs> this is where, you know, I, I give a shout out to my friends and family. This is where I do share some of my content, but also I share others con uh, other people's content. I do get into some of the marketing groups online and on Facebook. I do get into some of those things, but not too heavy. You got two different ways to go with Facebook, guys. Let's start with Facebook real quick because it's a real easy one. Matter of fact, that whole IPO thing was based on advertising. It's based on money coming in, blah, 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 blah. Well, the thing is, is that when you make timelines and big images and start shrinking up advertising and making it a garbled mess for the average user who's over 50 years old on Facebook, well, what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? Facebook, two ways to sit there and market on this, okay? First off, uh, number one is going to be through sharing, okay? You're going to be sharing links and this is going to be on pages. You create a business page. You create, if you've got a regular Facebook page, create a fan page, a brand page, a business page, a, a, a store page, whatever it is that you're going to create, but create that other page as well. That's where most of your marketing is going to be done. It's not going to be done on your original Facebook page. That's where you share links and things like that, and that's fine and dandy to do. But there, you're just going to be a part of your friends and your family's lives, period. Over here is where you do your marketing. This is where you share all your links and you share all your information. We'll go through some of the particulars on this in just a minute. Also, <clears throat> the one thing that I absolutely love, and let me grab my coffee here. The one thing I absolutely love about Facebook, when it comes down to marketing, is I think that better than AdWords, Better than all of that 
is Facebook's PPC campaigns, pay per click on Facebook. You know why? Because you can literally specifically target. You can target blue collar workers ages 23 to 30 who live in uh, Sheboygan. <laughs> you know, seriously, you can. And the thing is, is that that is completely awesome to where you can specifically target your audience better than you can with the Google AdWords or Bing's advertisement or whatever it is. The thing is, is that you can specifically target here. The biggest issue that you'll have with this today is the way that the website is set up now, the way that the pages look. It can be a little daunting and a little bit harder for people to sit there and find the ads and really stand out because they're so much smaller now and there's so little amount of them and they're crunched in there between all the other mess. That is what basically hurt Facebook was, personally, this is what I believe is my opinion, is the way that they put together that whole timeline, the way that they changed the interface on their uh, site. So, but still, in general, having a PPC campaign that goes directly to that page, here's another deal, Google, uh, uh, Google uh, Facebook is actually going to give you a much better deal the longer you keep people on your Facebook site. They are. They're going to give you a much better deal per click by if you stay on the on their page. So the th if you stay on their site. So what you want to do is if you do have an advertisement there and you know you're paying like you know ten cents a pop or a nickel a pop or whatever it is, take them to a Facebook fan page first. A fan page where there's maybe something over in the sidebar and you guys will learn this, but they can click here after they see your little profile here, but they can click here and it opens up another little part of that Facebook fan, they've got all kinds of cool stuff in there. James will be showing you some of this stuff. But they can opt in there. They can opt in there. Maybe you can take them to a thank you page or take them, then you can take them somewhere else outside of Facebook. But if you can keep them and take them directly to that Facebook fan page or business page or store page first, you're going to see that you're going to have a lot lighter bill <laughs> with Facebook than you would otherwise. Yeah. You know, platforms like their their stuff. I mean, they like to keep you there as long as possible. That's their job. Google Plus. I'm going to talk about that one right now because it's absolutely my favorite. Um, for so long, Google has been trying to sit there and really jump into the social media and be kind of a uh, you know a stiff uh, upper arm <laughs> right into Facebook's face. And I think they finally accomplished it. They tried it with Google Buzz and a few Orca and a few other things, but this right here works wonderfully. Wonderfully. As a matter of fact, it's very simple to parse through. It's simple for people to get in there. As a matter of fact, to tell you the truth, it wasn't as social at first as I think Google wanted it. Uh, it really seemed more business-like, kind of like Google, uh, 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 Google Places, um, Google Business Pages and whatnot. Um, but the thing is, is that they started implementing some other very simple things like circles and, and they actually had some API stuff to where you can put stuff on your uh, blogs and, and uh, you know, integrate some of this into your YouTube and whatnot for that connection to Google+. Plus. Really, really helped to, to brand people. Here's the simple part though, guys. Number one, Google is extremely simple when it comes to the interface of Google+. Plus. It's very simple to understand. You've got your basic page right there. You've got your little things right here where you can fix up your profile, click on edit over here, and, and you can do all kinds of really cool things. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, what about the Google Images that sits next to your little, uh, your little, your little link in a Google search? Very simple, guys. Whenever you're on there and you click on profile, what you want to do is hit edit that profile. And down here at the bottom where it says con contributor or contributions, whatever, what you're going to do is you're going to add your link to that website in there, okay? Now, there's also little uh, plugins in WordPress that you can go get, which is, you know, just look up Google Plus Author Plugin, um, and it'll give you a list of them. Any one of those will do. Now, it can take Google sometimes 24 hours, up to weeks <laughs> to make that connection. Um, I don't know if they do this on a you know one by one basis or not. I'm not really sure. I don't really think so. But the thing is, is that it takes some time, and I think that's going to have to do this connection 
either happens quickly. It happened for me within about a week, week and a half, started seeing my images up there. I think they made the connection real quick because I had a lot of good content out there. I had a lot of content out there. Um, so I had some sort of, you know, repertoire online. I had some sort of authority online, so it happened pretty quick. If you don't see that right off the bat, you don't see it for a few weeks or so, keep continually creating content, your blogs and, and YouTube and everything else, you'll start to see, all of a sudden you'll see that that will pop on eventually because as you become more of an authority on your subject, on your niche. So it's very simple to sit there and create this thing. Another thing I want to let you know is uh, sharing. Here's the wonderful thing about sharing in Google Plus. You can share from uh, <laughs> you can share from your blog post in a most in the best way. It's not like you click on Facebook and your little social bookmarking icons and we showed you how to use that stuff. Where you click on, but Google Plus, did you notice when you click on it, a little box appears all of a sudden? And this little box right here will say share right here. And then all of a sudden it'll have the you know the the content. It'll have a comment box. You can sit there and comment it. Actually, I think the comment box is right up here. But then it's going to actually have this little section right here for circles. And that's a wonderful thing. That's awesome. As a matter of fact, as you build up your circles, when you first set up your thing, you should have a circle uh, around your business. And you should actually set up a business page. We'll talk about that in a second. But the thing is, is that you can share this, this piece of content just like you would with Aweber autoresponders. We'll talk about that shortly, but um, it's absolutely awesome. You can send that post out to all those people in their email boxes. They can click on and, and learn about it. That is just absolutely insane. You know, most of us create a piece of content, put together a video, stick it on another landing page, send it out to our email list, blah, 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 blah. Guys, this kills like a few different birds with one stone. First off, it really helps to SEO that particular post and the website because you can, people will click on and they will go to that blog post and take a look. They will. And if you've got video in there from YouTube, they stay on there longer. Wow. <laughs> so they're going to stay on there longer, which helps that. Plus, that's going to help to build what? That brand and that brand trust. It's a wonderful little thing, guys. But that does that from circles. You can just share it to your, your Google Plus profile page, or you can share it to your profile page and any particular circle that you have. So that's pretty awesome. It does work kind of like an autoresponder. It goes right to their email boxes and everything else. This is why I like Google Plus, guys. They're always just kind of thinking outside the box with everything. You know, I don't think they were meant... I think they meant to actually get in there and be a little bit more sociable, kind of like Facebook, but in the end, Google's business is Google's business. They're all about business. They really, really are. No matter what we hear about algorithms changing and, and people's websites disappearing and everything else, that's because it was shoddy content. Create good content, guys, and you'll get a lot of love from Google Plus and Google itself and YouTube and everything else. You really, really well, and you can use this. Now, here's the thing. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter's pretty simple, guys. Everybody knows Twitter. Twitter is a simple place because I don't even have to talk about this long. Basically, guys, in your social bookmarking down there, and we're going to go through the whole marketing strategies real quick, um, just tweet it. Just tweet it. And don't forget to go in and start, be, you know, start following people. Start following people within your group. Start retweeting some of their stuff, and we'll, we'll go through that in a second, but you don't have to spend hours here doing all of that. Just go in and check it from time to time and follow somebody else. People will follow you. Follow them back. Go out and find more people to follow. As you learn more online, you create content online, you're going to find yourself starting to connect and see other different things out here because of, we taught you how to go out and look at your competition. Follow your competition. Be a part of them. Like them. Follow them. Google Plus them. Uh, get in their group. See what they're doing. That's it, guys. This is why social profiles and social media marketing is so important. It's because you can keep up on the latest trends. You can keep up on some of the latest information. And you can see what your competition is doing so that you can stay head and shoulders with them. Or even possibly do what me and many others here in Online Marketing Mentors have done before where we pop ahead of them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So Twitter is pretty easy, guys. Very simple. Just tweet your stuff and... and retweet other people's stuff and follow people. I mean, it's 
pretty simple. Um, there's lots of, you know, there's all kinds of people saying, you know, make bajillion dollars with Twitter. Same thing goes again, guys. Um, really honestly, some will, some won't. Um, but the thing is, is get your message out there because the two largest social media profiles we will talk about at the end here, you're going to be extremely, extremely surprised. LinkedIn, very professional place, so keep it professional. Keep it to your business stuff, guys. I mean, this is not really a social media platform as much as it is as a uh, social business sharing platform, an information sharing platform. Lots of wonderful things you can do with uh, LinkedIn, though. You can actually, uh, you can share your WordPress posts and pages um, on LinkedIn. And it actually becomes automated to every time you just click on, all you do is just, just click on your LinkedIn button down there at the bottom. And if you have that connection between your blog, there's a little uh, uh, piece of software, James will kind of show you this, a little piece of uh, software that you can, you can load up real quick on your LinkedIn and it'll hook right directly to your blog and every time you post a blog without even clicking on the LinkedIn, uh, this piece of information will actually be fed to your LinkedIn uh, profile page. What will happen is you'll start seeing down at the bottom and a little bit over here to the right, you're going to start seeing latest posts and over here you'll really just see the titles, um, just the titles of them and a link to that particular post. Down here you'll see kind of a good amount of information on those posts, which is pretty awesome. I really, really dig that. Um, once again, inside of LinkedIn, a good thing to do here is to go out and start, uh, you can create, um, you know, if you've got a lot of people in your Gmail account and everything else and you'd like to invite them to LinkedIn, you can do that. You'll have to get all those, those emails put together um, and then basically go in and it'll it just, James will show you where to do that, but the thing is, is that um, they're pretty particular here. So you have to have their email, you have to know them in some way or other. It'll even ask you that, how do you know these people, friends, other business partners, uh, whatever. You'll have to know all of these people, but you can invite them in there from your Gmail accounts and things like that. So it makes it a lot easier to start growing that kind of following in there real fast. So, good thing to do. I really like LinkedIn. It has a lot more to offer than what I'm talking about right now, but in our advanced section, we're going to start going in there and getting into a lot of these things separately, Google Plus, LinkedIn, things like that. But once again, guys, <laughs> here's the deal. No and be known. Okay? No and be known. You've got to know and be known. You've got to get in there and follow people and be a part of different groups. I went in there and I'm a part of a couple of SEO groups and a couple of kind of a, uh, e-commerce groups uh, just because I wanted to learn more about e-commerce and things like that. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. So get in there and know and be known in LinkedIn. Be a part of those groups, period. Um, Pinterest. <laughs> Pinterest is pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> Pinterest is really, really simple right now. Um, kind of like Twitter. I don't even have to write this one down. We'll get into the strategies in a second. Pinterest is extremely simple, guys. Go out there and pin your stuff and repin other people's stuff. Go in there and create your profiles. We're going to talk about the strategies in a second. Um, but uh, get out there and do that. Uh, you know, repin and pin people's stuff. Don't forget to comment on different stuff. Be a part of the community there. I guess that's what I'm saying here with all of these is just really be a part of the community. Let's really just get into some of the strategies first. Whenever you're sitting there and you're setting up your profile, most of these are going to ask for images. They're going to ask for, uh, uh, geez, they're going to ask for like images, websites, emails. They're going to ask for uh, a basic about uh, you or your business itself. Here's the deal. Always take the first paragraph. First paragraph. Let me turn this little uh, music thing down real quick. You know, take that first paragraph out of your about page on your blog and actually uh, uh, use that, okay? So use the first paragraph of that about page as kind of the short little bio about yourself. You can even use two paragraphs, but one will be just fine. If it does ask for keywords, make sure you use the same exact keywords that you used for your blog profile, okay? Use the same exact keywords for your blog profile. When it asks for um, usernames, 
Usernames. Use the same username that you're using on all your other social profiles. Use the username about your business. So if, if my brand is actually just David Boozer, then it's going to say David Boozer. If it's eBlogger Pro, then it's eBlogger Pro. The thing is, is I'm going to share that because I want that share, that username all out there. It, the search engines actually pick that up. They pick up that, hey, it's here, 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 and here. Okay? So you want to try to keep all of this stuff. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that you want to keep all this stuff uniform. You want to keep it simple. You want to keep the same username, same profile information, same tags, same websites. Don't forget to add your website. Put your website in there. And don't, you don't have to add a whole bunch of different websites at this point, um, probably right now. You guys are, probably most of you are beginners right now. So just have the one website in there, period. As a matter of fact, with Google+, Plus, it, that's in the contributor section as I showed you. Just go down, put it in the contributors. You also put it in, uh, uh, it'll ask if we have another one with other profiles or other, other things. Um, go ahead and put that website in there as well, but make sure it's in the contributors part. So in your profile, and make sure you get a good pic, guys. Get a good pic. You know, you've seen my pics on my stuff. And you know, I went out to the beach and took a couple pictures. I picked the one I liked the best, and then I totally photoshopped it because, yeah, you're looking at me now. I got a face for radio. <laughs> so the thing is, is that make sure you got a good pic on there, all right? But complete the profile. Complete the profile. Fill out everything that you can possibly fill out within that profile, okay? And make sure that it's all shared the same way. It's all the same information. Sometimes in your about part, you can actually put your contact information, slip your email in there, slip your phone number in there if you're using a phone number way. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, throw in a little, uh, you know, davidboozer.com down there at the bottom as well, whatever, inside of that social, inside the uh, about part. That's always a good way so you have more ways for people to sit there and find you online and find out more about what you're doing, what you have to offer, who you are, uh, about you and your brand. And we're going to write this one up because this is actually the last part of this, guys. No? And be known. What do we talk about? No. What am I trying to say here about no? We want people to know about our stuff. We want people to know about our products or services and our opportunities and everything else. So that's why we go in there and we socially bookmark things, not just with Dig and Delicious and Stumble Upon, but with our social profiles as well. We get out there and we seriously share them. At the end of your blog, you guys know that you have those little social bookmarking links, whether you're using sketch bookmarks, sexy bookmarks, whatever it is. <laughs> hit the major ones. Just hit the major ones. Click on uh, uh, like and like your stuff. Send it to your Facebook page. Um, uh, Twitter, uh, Google Plus it. Send it to that page. And then you know what? Share it with your circles, your certain circles. You can share it with all your circles in just a specific circle. It's the wonderful thing about Google Plus. The other thing is, is be known. You know, there's two different things I think you should do to be known and to know. Whenever you're sitting there and you're sharing a piece of content here, okay, you should comment above or below that, that uh, link to that information wherever. If, whenever you notice, guys, and you go to sit there and you, you go to uh, share something, okay, It'll pop up and it'll have like, here's the, the content to it, here's the little share button where you're going to share it, and here's a little comment box. Most of them have a comment box. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Three, four lines, two lines, one line, I don't care, but leave a comment. Give some sort of call to action in that comment. Hey guys, here's a little bit more about video marketing and how I found a, a real simple way to get about two, three hundred views within the next 24 hours. Hey guys, check this out. This is all about, uh, you know, repinning and the importance of repinning other people's stuff on Pinterest to take advantage of marketing on Pinterest. Um, you know, hey guys, here's something for beginners. If you're advanced internet marketing, don't worry about it. But if you're a beginner, guys, I want you to check out the importance of video marketing. I actually use my keywords inside this comment. I will take a couple of my keywords and I will leave it in that comment box and make it fit into a sentence, okay? Doesn't, have, doesn't matter where it's placed, just as long as it's in there. 
but I will leave that comment every time when I'm sharing a piece of content. Here's another thing, guys. You can actually, once you make the first comment, copy it. I'm not kidding. Just copy it and paste it in the other ones. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Just paste it in the other ones. This has nothing to do with the ranking effect or anything like that, really. But the thing is, is that it's, it's more for people. It really, really is. It's more for people. It's not considered like, you know, uh, uh, you know, replicated content or anything like that. It's not. It's just a comment. So what matters here is that there is a comment. That's all that really matters. So the thing is, is that uh, when Google looks at these things like comments, it's looking at numbers of comments. It's looking at the links in the comments. It's looking at users in the comments. But it's not really looking at the comment itself. Comment is just people being social, people sharing, people in discussion about something. Um, but I do throw those keywords in there just to have them in there, just because it makes me feel safer, feel better, um, and it really strikes a chord with people, I think, whenever they see that those keywords were in there in the first place, like, okay, this is about video marketing. I'm not gonna get here and get sold anything. I'm just looking right now anyways, or yeah, this is exactly the product I'm looking for. Uh, this is the exact service or opportunity I'm, I'm thinking about joining. Um, but this really is just kind of a call to action. That's all it is. <clears throat> you know, as we get into the uh, sales funnels and creating the Awebers and the, all, uh, the uh, uh, email marketing and everything and the whole sales funnel thing, you're going to start seeing that this commenting is basically just that in a nutshell. It's sales copy. It's a way to sit there and create that, that call to action for people to start you know, really interacting with that piece of content wherever they found it, whether it was Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or whatever. So that's the basics of just marketing on social media platforms. You know, everybody else in the world will sit there and say, well, you know, Dave, I heard about this and I heard about that and I heard about this and that and this and that. Well, the thing is, is that I tried some of those things, some of them worked, some of them didn't. The one thing that always worked, though, was to go out there and be a part of a community be a part of something, know and be known. That always worked. That always worked. I've had people say, hey, I saw your thing on Facebook when I liked it, um, and then I you know, requested Facebook friendship, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they went in and they found a way to get in there and opt in and check out this, this free training and everything. I was like, God, this is really awesome, blah, 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 thank you so much. Awesome, that's what it was meant to do. It wasn't meant to sit there and convert you right off the bat or sell you a product or a service on my social sites. It was just there to share. And it was for me to go in there and learn more myself from other people and to be a part of that community where we're sharing things together. Don't forget, guys, in social media marketing, social. <laughs> Don't forget social. That's what we're here for. It's social. It's social media. We put marketing on the end of it because we're trying to make money with it. That's right. <laughs> Keep it simple. <laughs> the KISS rule, guys, keep it simple. You want to build a list through social media and you want to get attention through social media, then be a part of social media. Be a part of a community. Retweet, repin, um, like other people's stuff, plus other people's stuff. And don't forget to share your own stuff and comment on your stuff. Give a good call to action inside that comment that literally gets people's attention saying, oh man, this guy just looks like he just has a regular good piece of information. Let me check it out. That's it, guys. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's get on to the on-screen recording, show you guys how to get set up with some of these different sites and take advantage of them. All right? No matter what, God bless.